<laughs> For our second session, we're going to start off with green energy, alternative energy solutions for the Caribbean. And for our first presentation, we are going to have Thiago Rodriguez and Tildama Martins, co-founders of Samanova, and this will be a virtual presentation. Thiago Rodriguez is the co-founder of Samanova, a technology whiz since a very young age. Mr. Rodriguez knew at that age that technology would play a major role in his life. For the past 26 years, after graduating from computer sciences, he went into a corporate career advising multinational organizations in their technological digital transformation, energy, oil and gas industries, distribution network is his biggest specialty. Mr. Rodriguez has joined Upturn Funds to create in New York Sava Nova Corp, the first low carbon power and crypto partnership with the objective to bring active crypto mining as a force to help in reducing human carbon print worldwide. Ms. Bildama Martins, co-founder of Samanova. Ms. Martins started her professional life as a civil engineer graduating in 2012. Ms. Martins realized that the same energy that would put to build a house she can use to create any business where her ideas can be heard and implemented. The opportunity came when she decided to partner with Mr. Rodriguez and develop the strategy to take the company to New York with Upton Funds and partners to create Samanova. No problem. Ms. Rodriguez resides in Brazil. And to do the introduction for green energy, but please put your hands together for Mr. Rafael De Angelis. This uh, project, uh, we call it Samanova, and it's a concept product that we work with the IEDB in Paris. The idea here, it's 60% of the world energy is actually lost every 24 hours. Most people don't know this, but the same energy that you produce during the day is not the same energy that is consumed during the night. And the UN agency came to us and said, you know, we, we don't know how to handle this because we have this big problem with all those ministries calling us and asking us for solution for blockchain technology. And we identified this group in Brazil as a startup, okay, but it's something that I must share to you guys of what's coming to you. Blockchain is scheduled to become the dominant technology for the banking industry. JP Morgan Chase just announced that they are converting their system into blockchain technology. Why do they adopt a blockchain at such high rate? Because with blockchain, my auditing costs and transaction verification goes to zero. Because I can actually, through my own system, not really zero, I'm paying out people to constantly verify the transaction at a fraction of the cost of having staff doing this for me. So we know the blockchain is the future and we expect that in 10 years blockchain to be dominating almost every area of human interaction. And I'm telling you guys here based in people that we talked in California and US banking industry that already told us there is no way back. It's migrating this way. The question that we want to pose for you guys in the region here is what blockchain or in cryptocurrency mining can do for you. And in the Caribbean, we came up with a, a, a strategy that those technologies and funding for those technologies should be, should be associated in converting that money into green projects. Solar panel financing, wind, you know, to create a stability, but also independence, you know, from oil in the region. And the only way we could justify this project is what they're doing in Brazil is actually looking in a way that they can take that energy out, the negative energy or energy that has very little cost and make it into a financial pro pro a product that a percentage of that profit is given to the government as a match program for green energy conversion and eventually create the infrastructure of actually providing green energy blockchain projects for, for big corporations. 
Why? Because we all know today that if I blockchain the whole world today, the cost of energy is going to explode because we don't have enough energy available 24 hours to sustain the system. But we have enough energy for 12 hours, 10 to 12 hours, which is the overnight to support the system. So at Upturn Funds New York and even the Caribbean, we don't only focus in business that is already running. You know, we focus in business that we prepare the leadership to look into potential of tapping into those opportunities. And this is what the team in Brazil will be presenting. Do we have it? So are they, Tiago is joining in? So. Hello, Rafa. Hi, Tiago. Are you there? Uh, can, you are online. Can you listen to me? Yeah, I'm yes. here. I, I, I'm just not able to share my screen. Oh, we can share it from here, from the screen that you have. So you can run it from there, right? Yeah, the first slide is on, but we cannot see now, right? There we go. The first slide is on. Okay. Here we go. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Thiago. And for the next 10 minutes, we will be talking about something that the most people don't even believe it's, it's possible. Unusual energy. We are also to think. We are used to think that we live in a world of scarcity, but we don't. Actually, we, we waste a lot. Can you go further? Next slide, please. Just a second, please. I think I, I'm facing a, an audio issue. I will change it. It is better, my, my audio. Or no? Am I audio is better? Yes, please. So yes, please. Will... You can go. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, first, let's go through some points here. Okay. We are more connected than ever, and even though the technology is able to make devices more efficient, our demand for more devices grows every year which makes the energy consumption increase. However, the gap between peak time and no peak time also increases because at no peak time, energy generation is higher than its consumption. Next, please. Do you know that 66% of the energy produced worldwide is lost? I know, it's hard to believe it, but we lose some energy to produce it, some on transmission, but we also lose at no peak time because we are not able to use it. And that's our fox here today. Next, please. Our challenges. As I just said, we lose a lot of energy at no peak time. There are a lot of barriers and general issues in the transmission model. How to deliver all those energy. When you think about the no peak time, we can have a productivity gap. Some power plants around the world turn off energy productions and don't run full capacity all the time. They do it because there aren't enough batteries to store all this energy. The energy dilemma is use it or lose it. It's so challenging to store it. So here, we have some opportunities. We can convert no peak time energy loss into a tradable digital access and destinate the profits to expand renewable energy. Wouldn't it be great? We are not thinking here about competing with people and use energy that some people are struggling, that some people are struggling to receive. We are talking about being more efficient and make something we lose into profits and they make investments to become more sustainable. Next, please. Here, our solution. It's crypto mining. I will, I will not go through crypto mining tech details. In one line, I would say that crypto mining is the process which crypto transactions are done from one spot to another. It is the same process run by central banks with fiduciary money when you pay a bill or transfer money to someone. 
Next, please. We choose Bitcoin mining, but why? Why we choose Bitcoin mining in this case? Because it's only the it's it's the only digital asset backed by energy scarcity. It's likely compared to gold, as it gets harder and harder to find, and there will be only 21 million bitcoins out there. It's another point important is it's easy to automate the mining power scale according to the energy consumptions and and at peak and no peak time. Uh, but attention, the main point here is we can turn on and turn off the machine as energy is consumed by population. We are not competing for energy. It's very important. Another positive impact, impact here is we can convert converting energy waste into Bitcoin assets. After we have Bitcoin in the pocket, we can also use robots for trading automation. Next, please. I will show you the overall idea of how we do it, but of course, to go on the details, it would take a long time. So if you are interested, let me know and we can arrange a meeting as soon as possible. As common and very much used in the tech world, our project is modular using the container idea. We can grow and shrink modularly. Next, please. Here we have a case of study we've made for Paraguay. They have low cost energy and also their productions is higher than consumptions. Instead of looking to crypto, to crypto mining as the villain, the Samanova business models makes its potential solution to deal with energy loss by consuming an usually low cost energy directly from the grid. Then we will save part of the profit to build an investment fund that will be used for converting local energy metrics to new rene renewable sources. Next, please. As an example, in our store of case, we could start with 50 million and we would give back 80 million to the Samanova Green Energy Funds to be reverted as a local investment for green energy. Uh, of course, we need to make more assumptions here. And again, if you are interested, let us know and we will schedule a meeting to talk about all the details. Thank you very much for your attention. I wish that we have a wonderful next three days there in the Upturn Funds Caribbean Summit. And please don't forget the beach. Enjoy for me. Bye. <laughs>